value. So we didn't want to go highest price, lowest price. We just wanted the best value. We knew we wanted to do an addition to extend, to extend the space. Um, and the fireplace was not part of the initial design. Um, but once we started designing the space, we realized, especially with the um, vaulted ceiling, that having sort of a centerpiece focus wall would, would look amazing. And so we wanted to tie it into the space since it was going to be open and with the kitchen, um, but we didn't want the tile all the way up. And I, I love the look of shiplap. I didn't want it to be too country or farmhouse, but the combination of the marble um, with the shiplap. And then um, I know Brady and Lonnie designed the mantle custom for me. So it, it turned out beautifully. And I, it's, it's a highlight. You know, we didn't start with that, but it was so worth it. And I'm so glad we added it to the project because it really is the centerpiece, I think, of the design. I cannot imagine the kitchen without the coffered ceiling. And I feel like I keep saying that everything is the centerpiece. <laughs> the, the fireplace wall is the centerpiece. The coffered ceiling is another centerpiece. So the coffered ceiling was not in our design at all. Um, we had a wall going maybe three quarters back through the island. It would have gone straight through the island um, that separated our old kitchen from our dining room. And in that wall was um, a sewage pipe. And we knew about that before the project started and we thought that we'd be able to put it in a back wall, tuck it away and it wouldn't be a problem. Um, but as we dug into it and just given that this is, this is an older house, that solution that we had planned on didn't work. And we got really nervous because we've never seen our model house get renovated with that wall taken out. Mm -hmm. And we believed that Moss could do this. And when we found that our initial solution wasn't going to work, we got nervous. Um, and we thought, are they gonna tell us we have to have a column in the middle of our island or do some crazy weird design thing? And that was not at all. Brady worked with Kristen and that day they came back to us with this coffered ceiling idea. And I just couldn't believe the creativity, how they hid the pipe. Um, how they you know, were able to stick with our original design and then just add this really cool structural element um, that, like I said, I really cannot imagine the kitchen without that ceiling now. We have a new mudroom, which is so exciting because I've always wanted a mudroom in this house. I was, I grew tired of having our kitchen be the dump zone um, for book bags and mail and just everything else. And so that was one of the elements I really wanted with the renovation was a mudroom where we could enter the house and the kids could just dump their cleats and their helmets and just put everything away in there. And so what Moss did was they took like a pantry area that we had, as well as an outdoor shed that was connected to the house and um, just made that into a room. And <laughs> so to think about an outdoor space that had rakes and a lawnmower and other things in it, and now it's this beautiful mudroom, it's just, it's, it's incredible. But it's um, worked out super well for us. And then the uh, powder room that's in the same hallway, that's the same powder room that existed, but was totally renovated. Um, and it just, it works, it works great. We have the drink fridge, which was, we knew we wanted that. We wanted to see, we actually went with a smaller fridge because we love the look of the cabinet depth. depth. We just love how it sort of fits in and blends in with um, the cabinets. But having the beverage fridge to fit not only our alcoholic beverages, beer and wine, but also seltzer waters and sodas. Um, so it's perfect for entertaining and it, it definitely saves space in the, in the fridge. So I also love the island. It's great for entertaining the small groups that we have had. Um, one of the things I love is that I could be washing dishes at the sink and then my kids could be doing a Lego set or a puzzle at the island. Um, I also love how much space there is at the island. Um, I've actually done puzzles myself there. It's a perfect space for that. But I just love how open it is. And so my husband can be cooking or I can be doing dishes. Um, and people can be sitting at the island and I just love that. Sometimes we'll have breakfast there, or dinner there, the girls eat breakfast there every morning. It makes it super easy. Um, but I just love having so many seats and the, the sides of the island just worked out really well. And it just, it makes it feel like when you have people over and you're in the kitchen, you're not separated. In our old um, space, we were definitely, it was a separate room. It was sort of closed off. People would be in another room or trying to cram into the kitchen while you were cooking and it just didn't work out very well. Um, and so with this, everybody can be together. Um, you can see the game if it's on TV and it's just, it makes it a very open social space.